yeah that looks so good <laughs> but i don't know what i want to do for groceries i'm making my list i got two sets i don't know this is what the bath looks like So I'm out here making some teriyaki chicken. I think I'm gonna do it as like a rice bowl. So I put some olive oil in the pan and this is just chicken breast that I cleaned that I got from Trader Joe's and I added a little bit of salt. I do know that the marinade that I'm using from Trader's is a little bit salty so I didn't wanna go too crazy with that. Some black pepper, some onion salt, and then ginger. The ginger smells so good right now. I think that's really gonna make this taste super good. So I'm just gonna let this kind of brown up on all sides and then I'm gonna add like a sweetness to the sauce so I'm gonna do some honey and then Trader Joe's does their soyaki sauce which is a unique teriyaki marinade for meats poultry fish tofu and veggies and I used to use this all the time it has like sesame seeds in it they also did like an island soyaki version which was also really good my Trader just doesn't carry it so I don't know if that was like seasonal or if Again, my service doesn't have it, but I want my chicken to be nice and brown like this. And Trader Joe's had these chicken breasts already cut up, which was such a lifesaver because I don't like cutting up raw meat and stuff, and it cooks quicker when they're cubed. So I think I'm going to start buying it like this. So we're going to let that cook through, and then... When it's almost done, I'll put the marinade and the sauce and stuff in there. And it'll be so good over some rice with maybe broccoli or you could do like stir fry veggies. Craving a lot of veggies, you guys. I don't know what it is about me, but maybe it's the new year energy of wanting to be a little bit healthier. So I've been living on frozen veg. It's just so convenient and it never really goes bad. So we're gonna have that. Should have added more broccoli now that I'm looking at it, but it's fine. See how my pan is burnt on the bottom? It's because I burnt it all up, y'all. But this smells super good. I don't like my broccoli super like cooked and mushy, so I just kind of microwaved it to defrost and then I popped it in the sauce with everything else. Chicken and broccoli. Yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> this is what I need to be doing more of is like switching up my flavors because I don't really do teriyaki bowls, but it's such a good meal. Chicken, carbs, we got some veggies up in there, different seasoning. So I'll probably add this into the rotation of my weekly meal prep. And I'm gonna have the rest of my kombucha. I usually have been doing like half and half, like I'll drink half of a bottle at dinner, then I'll have some leftover and I'll want it the next day. So I'm gonna do that and get some computer work done and I'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later but i wanted to show you guys something new that i decided to whip up 
today. Mm -hmm. It's your girl, the egghead. I'm back. <laughs> Y'all, I just got a package. I've actually had it for a few days. Um, I've been ordering a little bit of activewear, you know, from Gymshark. I actually just finished filming a Gymshark review. That's going to be going up on my YouTube channel for like their new January items. Spoiler alert, I'm obsessed. But I was looking online at Honor Active and I remembered how much I loved their effortless collection before they changed the logo like they used to print on their logo and the fit I just noticed was a little bit different than their newer pieces with the embroidered logo so I also found a few pieces were on sale and I got some items from their birthday collection last year so some of the colors I actually have and then there's like a purple color that I didn't really know if I would like I don't really wear a lot of purple but we're gonna try on these outfits today here's the package and see what they're giving i also got a pair of effortless leggings in like a burgundy color because i just feel like i have a lot of effortless bikers i'm such a biker girl like i just love them it's a more full coverage and like the short shorts um and then the leggings i just don't really have a lot of effortless leggings so hopefully these ones fit really good i just can't remember if the printed logo was before they kind of snatched in the ankle because they used to be really loose and baggy so we'll see today i also want to say i don't love that they put the invoice of whatever you ordered on the outside of your package because for me it's like oh everybody knows what you bought they might go and steal your stuff so i wish they would stop doing that personally but i got two sets and then like i said a pair of the rosewood in medium long length with their printed logo so hopefully oh yes these are like the sage my og sage feels just like this it's much thicker and it's not that shiny material these looked like the color that they came out with for this year's birthday collection or like you know 2023's birthday collection when they did the timeless pieces in like these burgundy shades I thought these would be really cute to have in a legging very stretchy again with this particular collection they did the logo placement underneath the waistband and then they also did another logo on the leg and I still have like some of these um like sticker logos but I don't put my stuff in the dryer so they still look really good and then they have the scrunch. I just want to see how the ankle fits. It's looking a little bit wide. But I'm really happy to have like the OG effortless fabric because y'all have been seeing my reviews and I haven't been too happy about the quality of them and the fit. I feel like they're more low rise now and stiff and kind of plasticky whereas this is like that fabric that we all fell in love with. So I'm excited to try that on with you guys. And then this is a color that came out like I said at their birthday collection for 2022. It's called Amethyst and I don't really wear like jewel tones like this. Actually, ooh, I actually don't have a lot of purple but I'm noticing that they're low the everyday sports bra is literally my favorite sports bra i have this in literally almost all the colors i just haven't really found a good bra at honor that works for me i tried their newer like crossover bralette i feel like the straps were very thin that they were gonna snap so i ended up returning that in my last haul and then i've also tried the micro bralette which is just too much spillage on the side boob area where i feel like it doesn't really give me much coverage and then um what else have i tried their classic 2.0 bras wasn't really a fan i felt like it was too stiff so i kind of just stuck with the everyday bras and they do offer more coverage um on this side it's just such a good silhouette for every day but what i was looking at was the logo looks like the dye kind of bled it's not white like it's supposed to be it's like a faint light purple and it's like that on the back as well so i don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it just happened during the dye process. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to come out when I wash this or what. It's that really nice like brushed fabric. And I guess it's supposed to feel like the timeless 
um, material because these are categorized underneath timeless. So I get a small in this. I do have a medium in like the deep taupe and it gapes on me. So I definitely think that you should go true to size with that bra. And then I got the matching biker shorts and y'all already know how I feel about the bikers. I wear a medium and these are the effortless and amethyst. So these were kind of looking shiny on the website, but I was like, sometimes they don't photograph that well. It's definitely giving marl. If you guys can see that. And it feels like my OG Sage, which is just the most flattering in my opinion. And it has like a light purple marl going through it. These look like they might have been returned because they're super wrinkled um, out of the pack. Which is why they're probably on sale and back on the website. They smell like... I don't know. They smell like something. <laughs> but I'll see how this looks. Like I said, I'm not really a purple girl. But I was also thinking maybe I should get them because I don't really have purple in my collection. Um, you can let me know though. Do you think this flatters my skin tone? I don't know. I feel like this just would pop off more on a deeper complexion. Um, and this, again, is the... Oh no, this one has the Stitched In logo. Okay, so yeah, I guess the Birthday Collection had the Stitched In logo. And then also from the Birthday Collection um, of 2022, I got their Peach Blossom Leggings. I already have these in the Bikers and I love them. And I've always wished that I had them in the legging. These also have a marl. It's like a light pink marl on top of like a peach color so I do think that marl looks really freaking flattering on the glutes it just adds a little bit of dimension compared to like a solid legging um these ones are the printed logo so I kind of got a mix of the two again this material is thicker and it definitely is softer than the newer items that I was reviewing for the 12 days of gains very stretchy and the waistband on these, like the newer pieces, I don't love the waistband. When I worked out in them, you guys saw, it crinkled. Like it doesn't sit against your skin and snatch you. It almost stretches out and I just haven't been loving those. So that's why I went and wanted to get like the OG pieces before they were no longer available. So I'm really excited about these. These ones, again, have like the diamond gusset. So, or no, they don't. These look really good. So I'm going to try these on and then pair it with this Everyday Sports Bra also in Peach Blossom. I also have the Peach Blossom long sleeve crop top with like the little cutout in the back. So I think that little crop would look really cute with the leggings and then this would also look really cute. Like why is this inside out? This must have been returned. There's like a weird stitch on here too. So... um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this was a return. Is this a small? It looks smaller than... Yeah, small. Just want to make sure that it looks good. There's just like some weird stitching. Where... I don't know. Like it's coming out. I don't know. I don't love that, but we'll see how this looks um, in a second. Um, okay. Sorry, y'all. My room is kind of messy. I've been kind of filming content all day, but already putting these on, it feels so, so good. It's not sheer. It's definitely thicker and more plush. And again, these are the rosewood in the printed logo so I 10 out of 10 recommend you go on the site and pick these up if you like the quality of the original effortless pieces because they really haven't been making them like this anymore it's kind of crazy putting these on after wearing like the berry or the forest green and the ankles on these are fitted so they're not super loose like my warm sand again this is the medium long length they are so soft. I'm obsessed. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah these are just so amazing it's like night and day getting the older pieces so I wish I had a matching rosewood uh, top but again I have the biker shorts so I feel like I can mix and match them with some of the neutrals these just feel so good and it kind of reminds me of like the cherry color like I said that they kind of came out with over 12 days of gains but you're getting something similar in color but better quality and I still do recommend going with like sizing up in these um, even though they are like the older pieces to me they fit the same so I'll be keeping these these are super cute I definitely can't wait to wear these to my next workout okay so hold on let me put these back um, right side out I don't know if this is my color first of all I love the fit of like the older pieces they're definitely more snug and that's just how I like the waistband I want it to like stay in place and not like crinkle and wrinkle like the newer ones are so I appreciate the fit of this again I still feel like you should size up um and effortless and they don't look sheer like they did on the website so definitely getting a sheen but is this my color can somebody let me know <laughs> I love that it's a matching set but it's definitely giving like high school colors like LA Lake or purple and I'm just more like the muted out dusty type of color palette neutrals so I don't know this is what the back looks like very flattering you already know 10 out of 10 um for the effortless wow these are really flattering they just don't photograph as well like they look way better in person than they do on the website which is why I never ordered them to begin with oh no girl y'all can let me know should I keep these is it giving because I'm obsessed with like this this shade is more my vibe um but quality wise these are definitely a 10 out of a 10 when I compare them to like the newer honor that they've been producing uh recently but you can tell how much coverage these bras give and I don't really get too much um peanut butter because they're more high cut but still a nice little scoop where you get some cleavage and that's the back so I don't know I just gotta get used to wearing like deeper colors like this I just have to feel this color out and see if I feel comfortable in it again it is very unique to my honor active collection and I just don't have anything like it yeah okay here is the peach blossom these are definitely thinner than the rosewood I can notice that maybe also because it's you know a lighter color too I don't necessarily feel like I mean it's definitely fluttering we can see that and also the ankles are snatched so I like the ankles they're still a little bit loose not as tight as the newer pieces um but I feel like I can see my undies I'm not as obsessed with these only because I have them in the biker um shorts so I think I'm just gonna keep the rosewood for sure and then maybe the amethyst bikers and send back the bra I found a blonde hair on this and I was kind of grossed out I don't know they're definitely returned I mean they are older stock they're definitely cute I just think that they are a little bit shiny and definitely much thinner like you can see not as thin as like the newer pastel shades that's for sure but I don't feel like it's necessary I don't know girl Ugh. they're really cute I don't know we're gonna have to figure it out I like the bra obviously with the leggings your girl loves a matching set um I'd rather keep this set than the purple because I just like this 
looks way better on my skin tone honestly and if i was tan in summer it would really pop off so y'all can let me know in the comments Why does this look so good so i don't know what i want to do for groceries i'm making my list actually and i like to plan out my meals and then i'll make another list of the grocery items that i need to pick up so that i don't overspend or shop just to buy things i want to see how much crab legs are that are deshelled i have a feeling they're gonna be 40 dollars, and that's definitely not in my budget this week but I'm thinking about doing chicken fajitas because I saw a chicken fajita pin that looked super good. Um, avocado toast. I'm kind of in like a snacky small plate type of a mood recently. So I like doing like turkey and crackers with some type of fruit or olive. I definitely want to add some more green veggies into my meals. So I'm going to get back into making my green smoothies. So I wanted to get like kale and banana to add into those as well. And then I saw another pin of a tuna pasta salad that looked really good. So I think I'm going to get rid of the crab legs, honestly. I have tuna here. Y'all hear my stomach? I got a lot of tuna. Um, so I just need to get like the mayo and the pasta for that. And my protein options. So I have tuna, turkey, and chicken. That should be good for the next few days. So hopefully this is not over like a hundred dollars, which I already feel like it's going to be. But if you guys need like meal recipe ideas, Pinterest, okay? Like something simple like this, it just looks so good. Not that it has a lot of protein in it, but if you like eggs, like look how easy and simple that looks. Um, this is just my Fitspo thing but uh i do have like some meals i don't really want to do steak it's kind of pricey so i kind of want to go to chicken i think like this looks really good but i can't eat eggs right now for some reason like i just i don't know they kind of freak me out gross me out i definitely want grapes so we're gonna pick some of those up for a little turkey uh plates this was the fajita post that i was like ooh, simple right gotta get some bell pepper some onion and then we'll crisp up some flour tortillas and I have salsa here. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, and I think that might be good. I don't know. Just trying to keep it simple. I don't even know if I want avocado toast to be honest. We'll see what it's looking like. Sushi rolls are really good. I'm honestly kind of craving some avocado rolls, but this is what I was looking at. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to get myself some deshelled king crab and do like corn on the cob with like an Old Bay butter sauce because that's straight up protein right there. So if I don't ever have an appetite, girl, I'll be getting on Pinterest and something like this. Instead of doing rice, I thought it would be nice to do just like a, a marinara with a pasta. I never really done that before. Usually I'll do like potatoes or rice, but I think that would be a good switch up as well. Um, so I might get some pasta sauce because I need to get back into what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's definitely more veggies and proteins. I'm going to get dressed and then we're going to head to the grocery store.
because I said I didn't want to spend more than a hundred. You guys, I somehow got all of these things for ninety-one dollars and ten cents. So I'm a happy girl. Uh, for fruits, I try to pick up like one or two fruits for the next few days so that I don't waste. We're gonna be doing some purple grapes. I also grabbed some banana. I'm like really proud of this haul because it's a lot of whole foods, a lot of produce, and just simple ingredients. This is just going to be for my oatmeals, my yogurt bowls, and then also my green smoothies. Dave's Killer White Bread. I had a craving for some buttered toast with some strawberry jam. I went with the Wegmans brand because I didn't know jam was like dang near $10. And a lot of them honestly just really sugary um and this one was a clean one so i went for that i think i'm gonna make that right now actually for breakfast with some sausage i grabbed some water crackers to have my turkey and crackers i don't know what's in here um, why she put the mayonnaise in a bag y'all this is just for my tuna pasta salad I already have things like tuna here, so that really helped me when it came down to planning. Some pink salt, which I was running a little on. For my tuna pasta, I grabbed the protein pasta, which is really great, especially if you want to do like meatless meals, but also if you want to up your protein intake throughout your meals. It's so good, and honestly, you can't taste a difference. So it has 10 grams of protein for two ounces, which I think is really amazing. Grabbed myself an onion for my chicken stir fry. And then I also grabbed a fajita mix. And a lot of these are just very, I don't know, they're not the healthiest. It's a lot of fillers, a lot of acids, a lot of sodiums and stuff. So I try to be more mindful about that. So I grabbed the Simply Organic Fajita Seasoning Blend. And for the most part, it just has organic spices like coriander and garlic and oregano. And organic rice concentrate i'm not really sure but that was like the best one that i could find and then i got some kale i'm definitely in the mood to have green smoothies shout out to my pinterest for that because it's just giving that girl and i have not been that girl that's been eating her veggies so greens and like green veggies are just things that i really need to focus on so you'll see that i got quite a few in this haul today I also grabbed two green bell peppers, which I'll be using these for my chicken fajita bowl. These would have been perfect for like a stuffed bell pepper because they're so big. But I just haven't really been eating what I should be. I've been in like a funk kind of. So my appetite hasn't really been the best. Been a lot of Taco Bell these days, but we're gonna make our own stuff at home. I grabbed some flour tortillas as well for our fajitas and those are going to be nice if i just put them on the broiler or the flame and get them nice and crispy avocados i decided not to do avocado toast because i didn't want to have to buy another loaf of bread because i like to do it with sourdough so we're just going to do like a guacamole to go on the fajitas and that should be pretty good and then i also grabbed literally the last raspberry coconut milk yogurt for my yogurt parfaits some smoked turkey breast. This is like 0.64 pounds for almost $7. This is a great high protein snack. Like I said, throw some water crackers, side of grapes, and then I have some olives here as well. Like my own little charcuterie dairy free plate, which I love. And I also picked this like minced carrot onion and celery because i didn't need to buy a whole stock of celery for tuna salad and i also didn't need to buy a whole bunch of carrots as well and this is already prepped and ready to go and i'll probably use the whole thing for my pasta salad which will be an easy meal for me i grabbed some frozen broccoli i think i'm gonna do a stir fry with this i was looking for stir fry veggies with like the water chestnuts and all that stuff but they didn't have one at Wegmans and then I like to get orange juice for my green smoothies and this one is the Wegmans brand as well which I really like it's literally just orange juice and um, orange juice pulp because I got the extra pulp which I feel just tastes better in my green juices and then I was also craving you guys saw my Pinterest board some corn on the cob so I got the frozen ones as well 
for my veg and then I only grabbed like one pack of protein. So we got some organic chicken breast and this was $11.12. So I might make all of this for my chicken fajita since I have quite a bit of bell pepper. And then that way we'll have this if we want to put it over rice then we can it'll just be a good protein for us to have as a quick meal prep i also grabbed the last vanilla coconut yogurt as well they really didn't have much in stock but i've been eating those regularly and a sweet treat you guys if you haven't tried the talenti dairy-free ice creams i think they're like literally just gelatos then you're missing out it has the most amazing layers to it. I don't know if you could see, but it has like, it literally tastes like a pie. I don't know how they do it. Like this crumble at the bottom, oat milk based vanilla ice cream, these like little cookie bites. And then this is like a blueberry gelato. And if you get a spoonful of all of this, there's even like another layer of like, I don't know, like a cinnamon crust. I don't even know. But if you get a spoonful of all of this in one bite, oh my God, it is such a dream. It's called a five layer dairy free dessert. It has blueberry oat gelato, oh, muffin crumble, cookie crumble sauce, vanilla oat gelato, and oat crisps. So all my dairy free nut free girlies, go get you some of this. Thank me later. I think I did fantastic planning ahead, getting some inspo and going grocery shopping under a hundred dollars, sticking to whole foods for the most part and i'm excited to like cook up my fajitas so i'm gonna show you guys that in this video once i put all this away but what do you guys think i feel like i did good considering i got like pantry items as well but i'm excited to get back into a routine and get back to eating proper and having food in the fridge that's going to be ready for me so i'm going to meal prep the chicken fajita and then probably just mix together my tuna pasta salad that way i have two meals ready for me just to serve up and i don't really have to spend time thinking what am i going to eat and i'll have some high protein options as well like the turkey that i can just grab from the fridge and get my crackers together and it's a quick meal so i just need to be consistent and get back to being disciplined i still haven't gone to the gym don't talk to me about that it's raining outside and i uh, yeah haven't been back since new year's so <laughs> i gotta get my eating together first because i have zero energy to work out because i haven't been eating the right foods but slowly we're gonna get back into what we need to be doing